Hello and welcome to Let's Play Catacomb Kids, the game that is still alpha as hell. So I'm going to go ahead and start and be a poet. I went over the classes yesterday. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be pasting the Steam Greenlight page in the description of this video. If you think this game looks like fun, which I'm sure you do because this game is phenomenal, make sure you go to the Steam Greenlight page and vote for this to be on Steam when it is released. So, this character right here looks pretty decent because he has the fire and ice and five health. So let's go ahead and learn some fire because it's fun. I'm going to ignite the hell out of this bat. Suck it, bat! <laughs> now he's on fire flying around and I don't want to go near that until it's dead. But I'm going to go ahead and eat these bats. So I'm still pretty awful at this game because I just haven't played it enough. Also, it's a very challenging game and still needs a bit of balancing before it's done. But I'm going to go ahead and eat these dead bats, be er, bats sorry, because if I eat five creatures, as I explained in yesterday's video, I can heal some or get other effects. These bats are chasing me and I do not like that, so I'm just going to run. One of the best strategies in the game I have discovered is just running from the enemies so they don't, like, murder you. Ooh, gold. I am rich now. Uh, and what is that? I got a crown? But the hood is better. The hood is better than the crown. That makes no sense to me. Oh, well. Let's just keep running through here and try to find either the orb or the exit. Well, there is the exit right behind this trap here. I'm going to go ahead and grab that bottle of uh, uh, blob of goo and stow it away because you can stow stuff away for later and then eat it when you have low health. Like, I have four things eaten now, so if I eat this later, then I'll gain health. Now, I want to run down, beat this guy in the face, and then run to the exit. Fighting these guys is not worth it. Uh, they, they are just too powerful. So I made it to the exit. I'm down to three health. So I'm going to go ahead and shift to go to this goo and eat it. And now I'm back up to four health. Uh, it seems like the more goo you eat, the better health you're going to get. The biats don't seem to give you much health when you eat them. So I like killing the slugs because of the added health bonus when I eat them. Oh, shit, that guy's about to attack me. Wow. Okay, let's just let's kill this guy and eat his goo. Aw, oh, yeah, eating that goo. Hey, whoa, I said eat the goo. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to keep jumping on this guy until I can get down here to attack him and eat his goo. And then I'm just going to do a little bit more of exploring. This game is really all about exploring. And again, I really don't want to fight this guy. So I'm going to jump up here. And, ah, oh, I was totally going to try to catch him on fire, but he hit me. Like I said, those guys are very difficult. I'm hoping in the final version of the game, as, again, this is the Alpha 0.0.1, I'm hoping in the final version of the game that maybe the enemies will be balanced a little bit better because right now they are beyond difficult, which is fine because the game is supposed to be difficult, but it's a bit random as to whether your dodge is actually going to dodge them or not, and that is a bit frustrating. Regardless... It is a fun game. I've actually made it all the way to level 5 or 6, and I got so far that the game told me I was doing a good job, and then I got murdered at the preceding... at the next... not preceding. Preceding comes before. Wow, I need to work on my vocabulary. So, um, I got murdered at the next stage because there were like 5 or 6 just dudes standing there in a narrow pathway, and it was it was brutal. But I did make it far. I, I am getting better at this a little bit. It also seems to be very luck driven at this point. But let's see how far I can make it tonight in about 20 minutes. Okay, so I'm just gonna, oh shit, 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 that guy's about to attack me. And I'm gonna run through this door because killing that Biat would not benefit me at all. So let's jump up here and stab him in the face and run. And we're gonna take, we're gonna kill the little slug here because I would like his goo. Because if I ever get hit, oh, oh, nope, 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 nope. Let's just play the nope game. And I'm going to try running down here and chain lightning. Oh, nice, it killed him. Wow, I get to take his money, and I also get to eat his corpse. And I'm also going to loot his corpse. Ah, uh, not worth it. 
Not enough improved stats. Ah, that bat is coming for me. Oh, wow, teleport trap into another dude. Okay, that was just bad news, bears. Like I said, this game is very difficult. It's a little bit unbalanced right now, but that's because it's still alpha as hell, as you can see on the title screen. Uh, let's go ahead and be a bully, just switch things up a little bit, play the different classes. These guys tend to be a bit stronger, I think. So, um... This guy has a runic breastplate and a smooth halberd with six strength. That seems pretty decent to me. So uh, let's try it, although I have no spells to start out with, so I have to be all physical combat, which is very difficult at this stage in the game. I'm not going to bother going in there because that is just trouble waiting to happen. I will, however, eat this ball of goo. You can also uh, pick up the mushrooms, which is suggested in the documentation because... They make a pretty good source of light, and they're also useful as trampolines if you get stuck in low places. You can jump on them like you can a boingy thing in Sonic the Hedgehog, which that was the worst analogy or synonym ever. Um, I will take your goo and devour it, yum yum, in my tum tum, and I will kill this bat. This weapon is doing wonders. These bullies are strong as hell. Yeah, suck on that. Oh shit, I'm burning. I would like to find some water or burn out. Okay, I burned out. Um, I need to find some stuff to eat so I can heal. Ah, oh, I'm dead. I guess I was poisoned to death. I'm not really even sure what happened there. Let's just keep going. We'll do bully again because having all of that strength felt like I was Captain Planet or the Hulk or something. How did I come up with Captain Planet? He had no powers. Oh, whatever. Anyway, I'm just going to keep going. And suck it, bat. And... Suck it. Oh, I froze him. Nice. And I think he's dead? Yeah. Oh, I do not want to drink the potion, because drinking potions can be very dangerous, even deadly at times. I... Would... Oh, shit, 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 shit. Uh, it seems like running around a lot helps a lot against the enemies because it doesn't give them a chance to hit you. But they're still really... and I haven't figured out the right strategy for fighting them quite yet. I'm just going to hit him and run and hope he comes up here to fight me. Yeah, suck it. <laughs> I shanked him to death. That's awesome. So it seems like running around a lot helps, but it's still very, very difficult to dodge the enemies. I chose this this trident because a tridents are badass. Now I'm like Brosidon, Lord of the Ocean, Lord of the Brocean. See, I'm appending bro. There, it's it could be clever if you wanted it to be. Um, it's probably not really, but. Tridents are badass as hell, but I also chose it because it has a little bit more strength than the weapon that I had previously. So, I'm probably going to play one more round after this one, just because I think you got another good feel of what the game is. Although, I would like to make it further than level 1 for once. That would be, that would be nice. And it seems like the bullies have really good strength, which I totally dig. I'm going to jump up here, which I can't make that jump for some reason, so... Suck it. Oh, wow, these guys are really strong, because I just killed that guy in, like, two hits. Uh, so I'm going to try to get over here to get that orb of leveling, because leveling up is fun. And then I'm going to up my strength some more, just to be a total bamf, badass motherfucker. So, let's just keep moving so I can find the exit, which is right here. Let's move along. I think this is just going to take me to level two. Two. Wow, some of these levels take a long time. Some of them do not. It's really cool how random it is. I dig it. I, I pretty much love everything about this game so far, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what 4-Bit Friday does to the final edition to improve it. I know that there are some level generation issues, like I've been to levels before where they're, like I can't get to the exit because the uh, jump is too high or something. So uh, he, he's obviously gonna have to fix those issues, but I'm really wondering what features and stuff he's gonna add other than the future classes. I am very interested to see. Ah, traps galore. There's a teleport trap and a poundy trap. I'm just going to go to the exit. Yay, floor three. I just need to find one more enemy to kill and devour before I can heal, which I don't really need that much, but any health at all is very helpful in this game. So, 
Let's kill this Biat. It should be a one-hit KO because my Trident is the most badass thing in the world. And then I'm going to eat this guy's goo. And I have healed. Fantastic. Let's just keep moving. So, I um, have to find some jumps that I can actually make, which can be difficult in this game. Oh, wow. Two-hit KO. Okay, I need to start playing the Bully class more often because having this much strength is crazy cool. Uh, having spells can add a bit of strategy to trying to kill the, the um, I think they're called grumbles, but I'm just going to up my strength some more. Uh, but having uh, this much strength is seemingly a lot more beneficial in tight spots. Like, hey look, there's a guy, I'm just going to murder him rather than having to come up with a strategy to hit him with a spell. Uh, no, 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 don't you attack me, you little pink blob. And I'll go ahead and eat your goo. Wow, there are two more of them. They just keep coming. So, let's venture up here into the darkness, the dark unknown, and let's try to find the exit, which I believe is this way. And you can push these boulders around. They are physics. Uh, well, as physical as this game is going to get anyway. And I need to get past the teleporter and stab that guy to death. And let's keep moving. Wow, I really, really like this strength that I have. Um, I didn't read the text. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I'm just going to run for it at this point. Ah, oh, and I died because, like, three guys gang-banged me all at once. Those levels are really hard. What you can do is go back through the entrance and then go back through it again. And you can basically regenerate the level if you don't like the level that you are given or if you're stuck or something. But I feel like that is cheating and it probably will not be that way in the final version of the game. But I can't vouch for that because I'm not making the game. So... Uh, this guy has 6 strength, that seems pretty good, let's go with him. And I'm not really sure what my weapon is, but it one hit KOs the slimes, and I am completely alright with that. Suck on that slime, I'm gonna eat your goo. And I'm gonna shank this guy to death. Just uh, running from him when he tries to stab me, which can be very, very difficult in this game. I probably should have eaten his corpse, but sometimes I tend to choke on their corpses. Oh, shit, 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 I am burning. That's bad news. I'm probably going to have to play one more round because I just burned to death. Uh, the lava pits can be tough to go through sometimes, and catching on fire is not fun in real life or in this game. But it's all part of it. If I'm going to venture in the catacombs, I'm probably going to catch on fire sooner or later. I like to regenerate my characters if I don't have somebody with at least 5 health. This guy is 5 health and 7 strength, and he's great with swords. That seems pretty cool. Well, he's good with swords. Good and great are different, I suppose. But... Good with swords is good enough for me. Oh, I do not want to get hit by piranhas. Let's... Okay, well, that trap was set off by the piranha, which it then proceeded to kill. So, um... Ow, 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 ow. No, no, no. Stab. Oh my gosh, my attacks were not hitting him. That guy's way better at dodging than I am. I need to start roll dodging more, but my experience with roll dodging in this game so far is I roll dodge directly into his hit. It's like they know exactly when I'm coming out of dodging and they stab me in the face and I die. And that is obviously not really the purpose of the game. The purpose of the game is to not die. That guy hates swords, so I'm going to regenerate these characters and hope for something a little bit better. Uh, six health, seven strength. Zero defense, um, seven strength, two defense. Huh, this guy's good with axes. Let's try him. This seems interesting, and I will hold on to the pink potion so I can throw it at this Viet when it comes at me. And I missed, but I'm just going to chop it in the face anyway. Not like it really mattered. And jump down. Oh, shit, shit, shit. That's like a giant pool of water. I do not want to go down there. There's a chest down there, yes. But I also don't want to have to deal with piranhas. Or whatever they call them in the game. I'm not going to get close enough to find out right now. What the hell? Why are you not dying? Okay. And suck it. And there is the orb of leveling. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And stow it away because it's actually really useful to use the orb of leveling to heal me when I have low health. And right now I have full health, so I'm going to wait until I get hit by a couple things and then use the orb of leveling later. 
Suck it, suck it. Okay, this guy is powerful, and I am totally digging it. Uh, let's go ahead and eat some more goo. Now if I eat one more creature, I will hopefully heal some. Not that it really even matters, because I still have full health. Um, Orb of Leveling cannot pass through the door. All right, let's use it. And we are going to up our strength and our defense because I need I need higher defense because I have such low health I only have four health so having higher defense should help a lot I'm gonna take the gold potion and chuck it in the face of whatever enemy comes near me hopefully it doesn't make the enemy stronger suck on that oh, I just gave the thing regenerate but let's kill it anyway and uh, I'm gonna stow away the goo and use it later when I actually need to heal and stab and there are ton of bats up here which means there's probably a chest which means I'm gonna go for it ah 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 oh my god I'm screaming because this is terrifying this is probably the most terrifying thing ever suck on that bat or biat and there are still a few more for me to kill having this strength is fantastic I'm gonna go ahead and eat this goo to heal up and uh, I can't quite make it up there. I want to get the chest. I want to get the chest. I need the money. I worked for it. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's keep moving. Deeper and deeper into the catacombs we go. Let's go ahead and kill this guy and stock up on some goo to complete our meal. And no bat corpse. Apparently, I am too strong for that. And die, 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 die. Oh wow, he teleported away. I am fine with that. Let's just keep moving. Descending into the catacombs. And here is another Biat. I'm going to murder it in the face and eat its corpse. That sounds pretty gruesome, especially since I'm just a little kid. It's like, why aren't my parents taking better care of me? Ow, I hit, I pressed axe. Why didn't it axe him? I wanted to axe him a question. So, let's go ahead and eat this slime, and now I just have to eat two more things to heal that health that I lost. Which, I hate it when I accidentally jump on guys that I want to axe in the face like that. And healed. Okay, great. And if I go underwater, my health will start to fill up blue, and that means that I'm starting to drown. And drowning would be a terrible way to go, especially in a game where it's so easy to die by other means. Why wouldn't I want to die by getting axed in the face? And we're gonna climb up this here ladder, and well, there's the exit. I need to figure out the best way to deal with this, because I only have four health, and well, let's just run for it. Oh, I made it, no way. See, running away is better than solving your problems with violence. And here's a shopkeeper. You can actually kill them, um, but I'm not going to right now, because it's a lot easier when you have magic. Uh, I don't have enough money for anything here, so I'm just going to skip the shop and keep going. And further down into the catacombs, we descend. Now, there are a lot of dudes here that I really would not want to deal with. But there's an orb of leveling over there, so this guy is worth dealing with. And running... See, I, I dodge... And then he hits me, like, right when I come out of my roll dodge. It's kind of ridiculous, and they're almost impossible to dodge, so I really just run around a lot lately. I'm going to go one last time, and then call it quits for the night, because I don't want to take too much of your time. But hopefully you're getting a good idea of what this game is all about, and how fun it looks to play, and why you should definitely click the link that I'm going to put in the YouTube description, and you should back it on Steam Greenlight, so it will be on Steam eventually, which would be amazing. I would love to have a Steam key for this game, because Steam is amazing. <laughs> uh, deadly distance on a dude like this. Let's go ahead and get some chain lightning going, because chain lightning is the most fun. And, oh, well, that was, uh, that could have been an early death. I'm gonna go ahead and use this rock. Oh. Okay, it looks like there are a bunch of traps there. And, wow, this is just a deadly route. And I know that there is a spike trap there because my rock set it off, so I'm just going to sort of crawl through here. And then run through the water. Deadly distance, I already have it. Let's slay these bats with one-hit KOs. How awesome is that? 
And we will go ahead and eat your goo and yours. And we'll go ahead and take the orb of leveling and hold on to it just in case I lose some health in this stage. But as I found out earlier tonight, you cannot carry the orb of leveling to future stages. So I'm just going to sort of run through here, murder everything in my path, uh, go ahead and use the orb of leveling to up my strength and defense and get through this door. I don't know why I'm so scared of water. I have chain lightning. I totally could have used that to zap those fish in the face. I guess their face is their body. Okay, that was a weird control thing um, where I was... Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, I'm dead. No. Okay, I'm going to play one more time, and I promise this will be the last. I guess you probably already stopped watching if you really didn't care. And let's go ahead and pick somebody with a lot of... I don't... I just... When I die for the last time tonight, I want to go out epically. I don't want to get slain by some stupid hammer trap. Uh, six strength, five HP. Um, I would like something a little bit better. Um, 5 HP, 5 strength. That sounds pretty decent. Let's try it. I should probably go paying attention to their abilities too, but I'm really just looking at their... Oh, wow, my weapon poisons them. That's pretty cool. I guess I lucked out there. And avoiding the fish. Oh, I missed. I'm going to try to hit the... This is like a carnival game. Hit the fish with the... Po I gave the fish regenerate. Oh, you little bitch. I'm going to kill you in the face. And, oh, whoa, I do not want to get attacked by that slime, so I'm just going to kill it. And I'm going to go ahead and start eating these slimes because they are good eats, just like that show. And I'll go ahead and eat the Beat too, just because I want to complete my meal as fast as possible in case I lose some health. And these things work as trampolines, the, the mushrooms do, which is very useful, and I would like to open this chest. So let's take a look at what's inside. Let's take a gander, shall we? Um, I would like to go ahead and up my defense. I really don't care about my magic on this character since I'm mostly a melee dude. And let's venture further. Wow, killing enemies with the bullies is so much easier than with the poets. I'm, oh, I, I tried to hit... Oh, I have the orb of leveling. No, my orb... Okay, and let's go ahead and up our defense and our strength. Because being a total bamf is really fun. And I would like to one-hit KO everything in this game, because that would make life a lot easier, at least in this game, not in the real world. But for the purpose of these next few minutes before I die... Wow, that armor was identical to the armor that I have. That's pretty funny. Suck on that, bat, or biat. And I'll go ahead and eat it, and jump up here and murder you, and eat you just to fill out my meal. This is a nice five-course meal of purely biats. Oh, I'm poisoned. How did I get poisoned? Wow, that was lucky as hell, and I ended up getting healed. Um, I'm losing it because I got poisoned anyway, but wow. The last of the poison wrecks my body. I really need to find an orb of leveling uh, because I'm about to die. Let's face it. Let's face the facts. I was not long for this world. Let's go ahead and eat this ball of slime. Um, I might have a chance of surviving if I can get more balls of slime. I feel like I'm going to die from poison. Or I might just go on to the next stage uh, with one health. That's very wise of me. How is that not crushing me right now? That's interesting. That one's going to try to crush me. And my phone just buzzed. And let's go ahead and jump and run. I honestly don't know how I'm still alive. That is beyond me. I just need to kill two things, though and eat their corpses to survive. So let's go ahead and eat these biats. All right, one health and I'm still poisoned so it didn't matter anyway. Oh, this is gonna suck. I'm gonna go the other way. The great thing about this game is that it is not linear. You can go whichever direction you please and it will take you somewhere else in the catacomb, of course, but 
It's nice that I don't have to go... Oh, wow, Orb of Leveling. Do you know how unbelievably convenient that would be? And I'm dead! Ah, okay, well, that was the last character. That was more epic than getting hit by a hammer trap. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more Catacomb Kids and watching me suck at it while I'm trying to get better at this game in the Alpha 0.0.1. And make sure you go to the Steam Greenlight page in the YouTube description and get this game greenlit because it would be really fantastic to have Catacomb Kids on Steam. Well, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe. I will hopefully see you all tomorrow or the next day.